Hello everyone, welcome to It's Crochet O'Clock. This is Stephanie and today we are going to be learning how to make the puff stitch. The puff stitch are these puffy stitches that you see here in this work. This one is skipping a space whenever you're working in between and then this one is working in every space of the work. Now I want to point out something before I begin this. This work, if you look at it, you can see that it is turning into a moon shape or a crescent or a half circle shape. And the reason that it's doing that is because puff stitches, whenever you get finished working them, and you'll see them after I show you how to work the stitch, when it's completed, it actually makes two stitches. Now, if you're following a pattern, the person who designed the pattern has already figured out the necessary stitches and increases and all of that stuff, but I'm pointing this out to you and I did this specifically so you would know that whenever you get finished and you count your stitches and your stitches are actually double what they're supposed to be, that you don't think that you're crazy. That's what happens. It's perfectly normal if you're following a pattern. It's not something that you have to worry about, okay? So this is Red Heart yarn. It's a number four weight yarn. And this is a boy five millimeter hook that I am working with. I am going to start, I'm gonna flip my work back around so I can make a turning chain. And I'm going to chain three because I am working in double crochets. And that is the height that I want my puff stitch to be. So there we go, chain three. I am going to work in the next space. You just yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up the yarn. And when you pull up your yarn, you want to make sure that you pull it up to the height that you need it. And this gets tricky the further that you go. Um, your pattern, at the beginning of the patterns, if there's a special stitch and a puff stitch is considered a special stitch, um, it will tell you how many loops it wants you to make. This is what it's talking about. How many times you insert your hook and pull up the yarn. For this demonstration, I'm just going to do three and that's what the other ones are worked with as well. So I've already done one. I'm going to yarn over and insert back into that same stitch yarn over and pull up and pull up. I don't know why, but whenever I do stitches like this, I turn my crochet hook, crazy little twerk that I have. One more time, yarn over, insert, pull up, pull up. Okay, so if you're doing three passes, you will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops here. This is also a tricky part of it. You have to yarn over and I turn my hook and I pull my hook up this direction. And the object is to pull through all of those loops in one swoop. And I did it. And you close with a chain. So you yarn over and chain one, and there's your first puff stitch. So let's do that again. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, and pull up. There we go, we got up to the height that we need. Yarn over, insert, pull up, 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 up. And pay attention to this because if you don't get all of your loops the same size, then you'll end up with one little piece of yarn that's puffing out further than your other ones, and that's not great. So we need to do this one more time. Pull up. Make sure they're all the same length. Make sure you turn your hook down so you don't get caught going through. Eh, I almost made it. Here we go, and turn over and close. Two puff stitches. Let's do it one more time. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, 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 up. 
There we go. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, and pull up, 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 up. You can see how we're tugging on this stitch right here. Don't worry about that. I know that it looks kind of crazy, but don't worry about it. It will work itself out in the end. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, 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 up. There we go. Yarn over, pull through all of them. And chain one to finish it. I'm going to pull out my hook here because I want to go back to this. Can you see these stitches? We chained up one. See how each puff stitch, there's two spaces, or two stitches rather. I wanted to point this out to you so you didn't think that you were crazy or that you had done something wrong whenever you go to go work your puff stitches. So that's perfectly normal, but like I said, don't worry about it because the designer of the pattern that you, that you were working will work all of those details out for you. So there you go. That's the puff stitch. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.